Toastmasters. No, I guess tonight. I'm going to talk to you about the classical education model. Can anybody here identify any of these pictures? Raise your hand. At least one, please. Names, names. George Washington. George Washington. Who else? Hamilton. Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Jefferson. Jefferson, Jefferson is this one. Who else? The that's ladies. Not, that's not Mona Lisa, is it? No. <laughs> 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 Abigail Adams in the center. Florence Nightingale. Oh, oh. Wow. What do they all have in common? They're all old. <laughs> <laughs> what do they all have in common? Leadership. <laughs> they were all home schoolers. Oh. Ah, oh. Amazing. I can give you a big list of names. What is it about the classical education model? In the particular case of a curriculum that we are following at home, as you know, this is my last adventure, one year already, yay, we finished. There are three basic elements in this curriculum we are following. First, you have what is the classical component of the education that has the three different stages. I'm gonna explain that to you. Then you have the component of Christian education, meaning that it's all centered in God. To contrast very quickly with public education, everything is child-centered. What do you need? What is your vocation? What do you like? On this one, we tie all the subjects and we bring everything back to praise the creation. Praise God. All creator is our beliefs. And then the third component of this classical education model, as we follow, is the community. There is an, another bunch of weirdos that are there following this curriculum and thinking that there are different alternatives and different ways to do things. And then having that community component is very important because even though everybody comes to this path for different reasons, the fact that you can share, that you can communicate, that you can uh, compare and contrast different points of view is very important. What thing is working for you and what is not working for you? And you have different moms that are in the same path. Sometimes that, but mostly moms. Now I'm going to explain to you the three different components. In the first stage, the classical education has three different stages. And the first one is called the grammar stage, the knowledge. It's like in the building, you have the, lift, the different blocks where you're going to start building. What is this grammar stage related to regarding ages? 4 to 12 years old. Everybody, the leading question is, what is that? And what is that? And what is this? And how do you name this? So you're putting out there what is called the vocabulary. What is the knowledge of things as, as a definition? We put it in that age, and if you see on your children or grandchildren when they were that age, they are always asking and they are always repeating, repeating, repeating. And they tell you, read me a book, and you say, okay, read it again. And you read the book the 20th time, and they say, read it again, right? You have your grandchildren. And then again, 45 times, read it again. Because repetition is very natural for them. That's the way they learn. Also, you have a big part of memorization is that they memorize everything. You say a conversation, and you say one thing, and they remember that word you should not have to say. But they remember that word. Oh, mommy, what does that shoot word you were trying to say when you were, oh, honey, I'm sorry. That's a bad expression. No. Erase that from your head. And even though you kind of erase very easily from the head of a child, isn't it? Oh, no, you can The other part is for the children, are, are, it's very natural, the songs, the singing. They learn a song and they repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Now, if you put good content in that song, like my children are learning all skip counting from one to 15. So right now they know how to skip count the 14s, the 13s, just because there is a song. How is, is that gonna make it later when they do multiplication? So what is showing here is that in this stage of the education process on the classical model goes with the grain, meaning that it's using already the natural skills of a child Mini memorization, the singing, the drawing, for them everything is drawing. Give a, pa a paper and a lot of color crayons and 
A child is going to make you the world because for them it's very natural. But this is the first stage. Knowledge. You can associate the word knowledge with this stage because there is where you acquire knowledge. Then it comes the dialectic, which is a different stage where they start to talk back to you and they start to tell you, why? <laughs> why do I have to do that? Why did you like it? Well, I don't want it. And this part is because in the moment they are talking back within the respect boundaries, they are trying to put everything in place. They are trying to reason. They are trying to learn what are the rules of things. And they do a lot of analysis and comparison, a lot of discussion, a lot of talking back. And this age group is around 9 to 13. Yes, pre-adolescents. I'm going to use the word, not teenagers, adolescents. It has a reason in Latin why it's adolescent, because it hurts. And then the last <laughs> part is rhetoric. And in this, is after you have gone through this part of building blocks and learning the language, and after you have started learning the rules, and why do you do the things you do, you go into, let me tell you something. <coughs> I'm going to give you this message. This is what it is about. So in this part, this is the age range from 12 to 17, and this is the discussions, the essays, the debates. You, you have to get an opportunity to see a homeschooler teenager doing a debate because they have to prepare arguments. They have to say why yes, why no, and it's a whole structure that is under the classical model. Mock trials, amazing the way they do it because there is when they have already figured out the words, they have understood and now comes the wisdom to express the message. There are different resources where you can find about classical conversations and classical education. There is classicalconversations.com as first. Then you have the Homeschool Law Defense Association. Homeschoolers are undermined by government, of course, because you having a brain and questioning the status quo, oh my goodness, God forbid. And then you have the FBEA, Florida Parents Educators Association, where they do a lot of activities for homeschoolers and a lot of education also for us parents in this and never. Mr. Chosen.